Titus chapter 2. But you, explain what kind of behavior goes along with sound teaching. Tell the older people to be serious, sensible, self-controlled, and sound in their trust, love, and perseverance. Likewise, tell the older women to behave the way people leading a holy life should. They shouldn't be slanderers or slaves to excessive drinking. They should teach what is good, thus training the younger women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled and pure, to take good care of their homes and submit to their husbands. In this way, God's message will not be brought into disgrace. Similarly, they urge the young men to be self-controlled, and in everything set them an example yourself by doing what is good. When you are teaching, have integrity and be serious. Let everything you say be wholesome, that an, appointment, an opponent will be put to shame because he will have nothing bad to say about us. Tell slaves to submit to their masters in everything, to give satisfaction without talking back or pilfering. On the contrary, they should demonstrate complete faithfulness always, so that in every way they will make the teaching about God our Deliverer more attractive. For God's grace, which, make, which brings deliverance, has appeared to all people. It teaches us to renounce godlessness and worldly pleasures, and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives now in this age, while continuing to expect the blessed fulfillment of our certain hope, which is the appearing of the Shekinah of our great God and the appearing of our Deliverer, Yeshua the Messiah. He gave himself up on our behalf in order to free us from all violation of Torah and purify for himself a people who would be his own, eager to do good. These are the things you should say. Encourage and rebuke with full authority. Don't let anyone look down on you. End of Titus chapter 2.